Hello and welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'll show you the magic of the CC Bendit effect, and how you can use it in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are in Adobe After Effects. As you can see, we have some PNGs here. I choose this one, and drop it here. This is a PNG of a tree. Now, what I am going to do is go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the CC Bended effect. Then, I select the effect and drop it onto this PNG layer. This is the end point of the effect, and this one is the start point of the effect. If I select this icon, I can adjust the start point, and with this icon, I can adjust the end point of the effect. If I change the bend value, you can see the tree bending. You can bend it in both directions. Let's animate this tree. To animate the tree, first, we need to add a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch of the bend effect. Then press U on the keyboard to reveal the keyframes in the layer panel. Drag the time indicator forward a bit and change the value like this. I repeat this process by adding keyframes in the timeline like this. After that, if I play the RAM preview, you can see how the tree is bending. To make the animation smoother, select all the keyframes and easy ease them. This way the animation becomes smoother, and you can see the graph over here. You can adjust the keyframes to change the speed of the animation by dragging them. The next thing you can do with this effect is duplicate the layers and create a forest. To get variation, change the length of the animation of each layer like this, so you will get variation in the animation of these trees. Alright, let's move on to the second PNG. I select this wing PNG and drop it into the composition. Now, I pre compose this wing layer naming it Wing, and make sure to select the Move All Attributes option. Then, click OK. Now, the Wing composition matches our main composition's resolution. After that, select the effect and drop it on this composition. We need to adjust the start and end points of this effect, but this time, set them horizontally. If I animate now, our wing is not moving correctly, as you can see. So, we have to select the Start icon and set the start point of this effect where the wing starts. Then, select the end point and set the end position here. Make sure it is far from the wing, otherwise it gets chopped. If I change the value of the bend, the wing moves in the right direction. Now we can animate these wings, but before that, we need to change one option, which is Render Pre-Start. Go to this option and change it to Mirror. This way, our wing is duplicated, and it looks like a complete wing. Then, if I animate the wing, it moves correctly. Next, I adjust the center of this composition. To animate the wing, first, I change the bend value to around minus 44 and add a keyframe at the first frame. Then, I move the time indicator forward a bit and change the bend effect value to around 73. Then, I move the time indicator forward in this composition, copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Check the RAM preview. It looks slow, so I increase the speed of the wing animation by dragging the keyframes backward. Now it looks perfect. Right now, we have three keyframes in this timeline. We don't need to copy and paste them repeatedly to animate this wing. We have a smart solution to animate this wing. First, press Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to expand the expression panel. Then, click on this button and go to Properties. Under Property, you will find the Loop Out Duration Expression or Script. Select this script and click anywhere on the layer. Now, if I play the video, you can see our wing is animating in a loop without creating many keyframes in the composition. Also, you can change the graph of the animation to adjust the wing according to your needs, and the wing will continue moving due to our expression. Alright, let's move into the last part of this tutorial. I selected the Pen tool to create a vertical line in this composition. Then, I add a trim path to this layer, and animate the line like this. 
also easing the keyframes to make the animation smoother. After that, I add an effect to this layer, set the start and end points in this composition, add a keyframe at the first frame by clicking the stopwatch, then move the time indicator and change the value of the bend effect like this. After that, I make those keyframes into Bezier keyframes. Then I adjust the position of the keyframes like this. If I play the video, you can see how this line is going and bending. So that's how you can animate PNGs and shapes with the help of the bended effect in Adobe After Effects. I hope you like this tutorial. See you in the next video.